Hey there, welcome back to Ellie Web Dev. In this video, I'm going to show you and teach you how to make your containers in a responsive order. Okay, so on the screen, I've got uh, a very interesting layout uh, using containers and the image and the quote and the image and the quote, they all line up in a wonderful organization. And what happens when we get to tablet? Well, when we get to tablet, let me squeeze it down and bring it back to the center of the screen. Um, we squeeze it down and then when it gets to tablet, it goes two by two. But look, the quote lines up with the person. Isn't that great? Well, what happens when it goes to mobile? Well, then I squeeze it down and it goes from person quote, person quote, person quote, person quote. So we're going to learn about ordering. Now I'm back to editing with Elementor. We're going to just, that's the demonstration and we're going to come back in here and recreate this. So we're going to go to a structure here. And we'll just pick the uh, four by four by four. We'll just pick four here and then we'll just duplicate uh, the next row. So I need to give myself some space. So let's go and give ourselves a top margin of 50. That's great. And um, so I'm just going to hit uh, the, the duplicate button and duplicate and duplicate. Yep, we, we got to add some wrapping in here, so we're going to get there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I need one more. Oop. We need to, our, our width is 25%. So we need to set wrapping on. So I'm going to go to the parent container, and I'm going to say layout and wrap. And there we are forcing each box 25% to fill the space. Now we have our boxes and they need to be full width within the parent container. So I'm going to go to the parent container and I'm going to say change it from boxed to full width. So now our boxes fit the full width. Great. So now it's a matter of getting our image and our quote lined up together. So I'm going to right click and edit the container. I'm going to go to style. I'm just going to walk you through this because some people may be advanced and some people may not be advanced. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a spacer to this image in order to give it a defined height. The spacer and put in 324. And so we've got the height of our image. Right click on this container and go back in and choose our image. And there she is, insert. And I'm going to put her a position center center and size cover. And I'm going to do the same thing over here because I forgot to do that. Size cover. Grab the spacer here, copy, paste. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to paste it here too, just to make sure things don't get wonky on in some form or fashion along the way. So I'm going to go grab the image, choose the image, insert and right click and choose that container and go and choose our image. Now we're going to uh, grab our color and put the color in the background. Um, so we're going to go off red and I'm actually going to right click and copy and I'm going to paste it here, paste style. And then I'm going to come in here and change the color to the mustard. And I'm going to right click and copy and paste that style. Alrighty, so we pretty much got that going on. Fast forward, I'm going to put all the content in and I'll meet you back once I get it all in there.
Okay, so all of our content is in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the ordering. Now this does take some time. Now I know there is method to the madness, but in this example, I number each individual box one through eight. So where is the ordering? We're going to go to advanced and right here, order. We're going to go to custom. So you have to click on the item and edit the container, go back to advanced, go to order, custom order. Now, the orders are by device sizes. So what you order in desktop will be the same for tablet and mobile unless you go back into that lower device size, smaller device size, and change it. So that's where the magic happens. So I'm going to go in, go to each container, and give it one through eight. I'll catch up with you at the end. Okay, so now we're back, it ordered them. So we have forced these items to have an order number and they are all lined up like they were in the beginning. Okay, so now it's a matter of, I'm just gonna save these changes, solidify that, and I'm gonna hit the responsive mode. And now I'm gonna to go to tablet. Okay, so with tablet, we have to reorganize the order. So if we're looking at our example up above, we need 50-50. The size of each container needs to be 50%. And then we have to reorder them accordingly. So I'm going back into each container and I am setting it to 50%. If I go to layout and I go to width, I have to change this to 50 and from pixel, it forces itself to pixel, so we're gonna go percent. I'm gonna to go to the second one, edit the container, go back to the layout, change pixel. I wish it would stay whatever you chose in the previous size, 50 percent. Why is this? Oh, because this is edit container. It's still trying to fit. Layout. Change pixel to percentage, make this 50. And something's not working right. Let me go back here. That's why. 50. Okay, now we're cooking. All right, so let's just go through and set everything back to 50% in this new tablet size. So the order is not right. So now we're going to have to go back through and set the order number on opposite sides. Okay, so obviously this is number one. Let's go to advanced. Okay, so the gentleman is number one. This quote is number two. So we want to swap three and four. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to edit the container, I'm going to go to advanced, and I'm going to change four. It, it shows you in a dimmed view uh, that it was four. I'm going to make it three, and I'm going to right click the girl, and I'm going to go to advanced and force her to be four. So that's where we get the, the swap. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come in here, edit the container. I am sure that there is a better way to do this, but until somebody shows me that, um, with the numbering, I'm forcing each individual item to, ha to be a numerical number, because in my mind, this is how it works. So we don't need to make any changes 
to this last quote because it alternates the right way. Okay, so that's in tablet mode. Now we need to go, and it's looking exactly like the same way we did up there. So now we're gonna to move to mobile. Okay, so again, the numbers are out of order. We want the person and then the quote. So we have to go over here and change the number from three to two. Nope, 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 four, four, okay. And there's Julia and there's Sally. And then we need to swap this number and it's seven in advanced. And I want it to be eight, but we have to force Brad to be seven. Go back to advanced, seven. So now we have person quote, person quote, all the way down in the right order. I hope that helps you understand container responsive order for your next project.